beast, didn't they? Chuffed to bits. The smallest little thorn back there. I'm just concentrate on not leaving the rod over the side. And his eyes. He's got amazing eyes. Doggy in the boot. Called him mullet. There's a bit of weight to that, you know. And that's what we want, don't we? We don't want the same same all the time. We want something different, a good old show. Hello and welcome to the channel. <laughs> you know I love to break. <laughs> Rod's been down about 10, 15 minutes and on squid, on a wire trace, it's this lovely little spotted ray. It's super choppy, it's difficult fishing, still enjoyable. Um, yeah, he's angry. He's flicking his tail around. He's trying to nab me with his gnashes. But yeah, let's give you a quick look. A lovely little spotted ray. <laughs> I love them. They're brilliant little creatures. Right, no mucking about. Let's get him back in. <laughs> there you go, bub. Oh, and he's away. <laughs> so the forecast was different to this. It's supposed to be just keep an eye on my rod. A lot smoother. I've already had a little strap, strap eel, conger eel, tiny little thing. It's made a right mess of my rig. I've got to sort that out. This one needs baiting and putting back out. And the big lunker, <laughs> we'll talk about that in a minute. It's got a honking great big bit of scad on it, a scad fillet. Hoping for a bull hus. Hope this eases down a little bit. It was forecast a lot, a lot more benign than this. Um, I'm the only one out here. So maybe I've read it wrong again. I don't know. Let's get some baits out, get fishing. Target achieved on a choppy, blustery summer's day. A bull hus. Look at that. He's got some artillery in there. I'm struggling to keep, I'm struggling to keep still because I'm getting blown all over the place. Look at that. He is stunning. He's not a million miles away different than a doggy, but he's not a doggy. He's a bull hus. <laughs> Many thanks to uh, Darren McKill. He put me onto this mark. I said I wanted to catch a bull hus and he said try here. What an absolute stunner. Only small. I've just weighed him. Four pound four. I was curious. You know I'm no good at guessing or judging. Yeah. Bull hus. <laughs> I'm going to get him back in. <laughs> there you go, bud. Look at him go. Crack in. Um, it's difficult. It's choppy. It's moving around. Keep an eye on my rods. Um, yeah. Strap hill, spotted ray, little angry male and a bull hus. <laughs> Target achieved. I wonder what we're going to get next. Darren did say that this was a multi fish fish mark and he's not wrong. He's bang on the money. So we'll keep going, see how it goes on. I'm going to refresh this bucket of water. Um, I love putting him in a bucket of water because it calms him right down. You see how calm he wasn't writhing around, he wasn't going crackers. Even that spotted ray, after a little stint in the uh, bucket of water, he calmed right down. Next bait up, I'll show you the rigs. And I've got the big bad ugly stick now. I've got the ugly stick 3050 Elite and TLD 20s. I've only brought one set out, one um, rig out with me today. Just wanted to give them, a, give them a go really, get them wet, see what the score is. So I've got ugly stick 2030s with slosh 30s. And I've got an ugly stick 3050 with 50 pound braid and a TLD 20 single speed lever drag reel. Just caught moving out of core my eye. Yeah, need to get back beavering away, do some more fishing. Oh, that is banging and crashing around, isn't it? Proper choppy today. Wishes would just flatten off a little bit. The forecast was to be benign, to, to you know, to proper flatten off. This isn't that. Mm. Oh, ship roll. I've got something giving me a bit of a tussle here. Um, there's a fair old chunk, but there's a lot of tide running as well. Oh, 
I was just thinking about moving. Just because it is so choppy, I've wedged myself in the corner here. But I'm keen to try and improve on my ball hus, you know? I've really, I've wanted to catch one for so long. I've traveled, I've traveled all the way round, there's 30 miles round to get to here. Um, and it seemed to make sense to stay as long as I can. Conditions aren't perfect for a small boat. They're not dangerous, but they're not perfect. And it's a strange fight this, it's got some weight to it, but I don't know. I don't know if it's just the, the difference that the tide's making on it. I think this rod's a nice match for it, whatever it is. It's not just winching it in, it's giving it a chance to play. The bend in the rod is taking the flex. That one, the big artillery, <laughs> that's a bit much for it. You could, if you wanted, just winch that in with no play, you know. You wouldn't be, um, you wouldn't be doing, oh, oh, what we got here? What have we? <laughs> We've got a chunk of a hus. <laughs> We've got a right old chunk of a bull hus. <laughs> right, let's make sure we don't lose this. Uh, that is a fair old chunk. <laughs> that, that is not a doggy. <laughs> Look at that. We're gonna weigh that one. <laughs> Let's get you in a bucket of water, bud. God, that's a junk. Right, hooks out. <sighs> Whew! <laughs> oh dear. Bear in mind, my previous PB hus was four pound four. I think this is a bit more than four pound four. <sighs> Look at the beast. <laughs> Look at the size of that. <laughs> Ooh. That was definitely worth coming for today. <laughs> Look at this size. <laughs> oh, I am chuffed. Let's put him in a bucket of water for a minute. Oh, just sit yourself there for a minute. Let's sort ourselves out. Oh, everything's going everywhere. Oh, wow. I'm going to get the scales out and weigh that one. What a chunk! <laughs> it's got a massive, great big head on it. Oh dear. And that's what it took. It took a fillet of scad. They like the scad. Look at the teeth marks in that. Wire trace, Cox and Royal, soft wire. It's like coated, nylon coated. Um, Solent running, running, running ledger. I've been running with a 15 ounce weight. Um, oh, might have something on the other rod yet. <laughs> I'm gonna put this bit of bait back out. I'm gonna put it back out. I don't think they're fussy. That's dressed up lovely. Maybe a little bit washed out, but I do not think these bad boys are fussy. It's gonna be hard weighing this because it's all over the place. <laughs> I'm chuffed. <laughs> Absolutely chuffed. You wait till I tell Darren. You wait till I text Darren and tell him he, I caught exactly what he said, where he said. He'll be happy as well, I think. Oh. Right then. Gonna be difficult to get an accurate weight. Oh yeah, that's better. Calm down, calm down. Eleven two. <laughs> it was bouncing around all around eleven two. The boat's moving around too much to get an accurate an accurate measurement, but it was bouncing around that. I saw it come up either side of eleven two. There we go. Look at the size. Look at the size of the head on that. What an absolute stunner! 
11 pound too. My new PB. <laughs> I'm going to get it back in. Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. And away it goes. Flick of the tail and away it went. 11 pound too. Chuffed a bit. The sea state's starting to pick up, so I've packed the rods away. And on the last rod to come in, <laughs> I can't believe this as well. I've weighed it. It's not as big as the previous one. This one's eight pound two. I think, well, I can't remember, I've wrote it down. I think the last one was 11 pound four, something like that. But yeah. Just let the camera settle. Oh, easy, easy. This one's an angry one. Calm down, mate. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You can go back. He's angry. That last one was calm as you like. Look at the gnashes on that. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to get him back. He's keen to get back, so I'm going to get him back. Eight pound two. There you go, bub. Off you go. Three ball hus. I got my hat trick. A hat trick of ball hus. Biggest one, 11 4. 11. Stop moving the camera around. <gasps> I've got to hold the camera because it's too rough. Um, 11 4, 8 2, and 4 4. I'll have to check that. I can't remember. Too excited. <laughs> Three ball hus. I came here for ball hus. I caught ball hus. Um, right, I'm going to lift and shift. I might go and do some hound action or ray action. I'm not sure. I'll figure it out as I go. I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> Welcome back. I've moved positions. I'm in the lee of the island now. It's not rolling around anywhere near as bad as or as choppy as it, what, what it was out in the open water. Um, oh, and I've got a bite. Quite an angry bite by the looks of it. Yep, something's, on, something's having to go on a rod. I'll spin you out. Oh, and something's going on that one as well. <laughs> I should have had that on camera. Um, Right, I've got two rods to deal with. I'll spin the camera around and give you a show. So the left hand rod did, oh, did go first. Let's just have a quick feel. Oh, no, whatever it is, I think, whatever that was, I think I've dropped it. So I've had a rattle, rattle, and to see if he stripped my bait. I hope I haven't just dropped into a, um, yeah, look at that. <laughs> Absolutely clean hook. Clean, clean, clean. Um, I might have dropped myself into a um, bream hole. Right, that was bream hole, I said then. <laughs> the piranhas might be here. Let's have a look at this one. Let's have a look at this one. Uh, and and there's, there's nothing here which... Oh, no, hang on. <laughs> Yeah, that's a bit different. Oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> that woke up. It was nothing, nothing at all. And then all of a sudden it just woke up. Let's have a look, see what we got. The way this is swimming around, this might be a hound, albeit a small one. Oh, yeah, I think this might be a hound. Let's have a look. Yay! Good call. <laughs> it's a small hound. Cool. And he's going some. A starry hound. I love him. Oh, let me just get this. Oh, he's going clappers. He's going like the clappers. Easy. Easy, buddy. Easy, easy. Oh, and the hook straight. Oh, he's got a really black tip along his his fin. A starry smooth hound. <laughs> he went like clappers. Oh, easy, easy. Let's get you going. Let's get you going. There you go. <laughs> so it was worth moving just for one hound, wasn't it? So we'll wipe down. Keep me clean. Boat needs a really good clean. I've absolutely trashed it the last couple of days. Um, 
Yeah. It's, it's been quite a good day. It was difficult fishing earlier on, but I had a specific mark, specific species, and I got the hat trick. Come here for a little bit of sport, chucked half a squid down, and we're fishing again. So I better get this baited up and back out. See what else we can catch. It'd be nice to finish off with a ray, wouldn't it? I'm gonna say that because I think there might be a chance of one or just might get hounded out. Um, get one in, see what it goes. <laughs> it's all chaos at the moment. Rain's coming down and uh, I just lifted up into this what I thought was a bream bite and it's pulled back. <laughs> so I don't think this one's a bream. <laughs> My guess, the way it's going, it might be a hound. <laughs> it's pouring down with rain. <laughs> oh, yep. He's having, oh, he's having a go. Look at the bend in that rod. <laughs> he's not happy. This is a running ledger rig with a stinger, a little tiny stinger hook. Now, look what. What Graham Pullen does on his videos when he was trying to catch smaller species. What have we got here? Oh yeah, he's wrapped himself. He's come up backwards. That's why he was angry. Tiny little hook. Tiny little size four hook in the corner of his mouth. Right, let's get ourselves sorted out. So I changed my rig for a bream rig. I'm soaking now, I'm soaked through. Um, and I'm into hounds. <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? So, hound number one. Oh, easy, easy. Look at the size that one. He's tiny. <laughs> Little baby starry. He's going back. Oh, there you go. Woo! And then hound number two. It went off like the proverbial train. And it's going crackers. Come on, mate. Try come on, come on. Play the game. Play the game. Went off like the proverbial train. <laughs> Look at that. I'm getting soaked. I think I'm going to pack it in for the day. All right, and you can go back. Where you go? <laughs> He's caught in his mouth. Um, yeah, this isn't fun anymore. <laughs> it is fun. Um, soaked through, absolutely soaked through. So, my baits are getting stripped out by Breen. I'm surprised I got both of those. Both rods went at the same time. One had the small one, one had the not so small one. Um, yeah, there's loads more rain coming. It's time to knock it on the head. So with that, <laughs> from me, from here, soaking wet through for now, <laughs> it's goodbye. And I'll see you again sometime soon. <laughs> oh, I don't know if that's a bite, but the rods are coming in and I'm going home. <laughs> See you later on.